Welcome to Spiritual Dessert Truths, episode 30 <laughs> for Russell Brand and other people. Today I am the Tin Woman, except I have a very large heart. <laughs> I love my costumes. I've been getting away from costumes lately because we are a costume. Basically, we're all a costume of humanity and underneath we're really all just one soul, God's soul. So there's one actor and many characters. <laughs> over 7 billion of us. And everybody has their own opinions and their own ways of looking at things. We're so fixated on ideals. I have people up my alley like, uh, what do you eat? <laughs> what do you do? How do you maintain this figure? <laughs> Always be moving, always on the go. The more you're on the go, there's no way you can have diabetes. Um, you have to sit around still and, and not be metabolizing your sugar in order for it to occur. So maintaining your early figure, uh, good genetics is one thing. My mom has the same genetics. She does the minimal <laughs> stretches. Mostly just keep moving. If you gain any extra weight or you're not moving enough, you're highly susceptible. Don't stop moving. <laughs> That's like the secret. And don't eat sugar. The less you eat of sugar, it's really a toxin. It ages you rapidly. And the more you have of it in your diet, it will change things considerably. The easiest way to maintain and also reverse the aging process is to go on a raw foods diet and just change your eating patterns. I look at eating as nutrition. I eat the highest, <laughs> I call it the high test fuel. My friend can't stomach it though. You have to be able to adjust to it and, and don't try to OD on it or force it. It's a gradual change. If you have junk food diet, that's the first big problem. You're gonna have to unclog. So you will have to do some serious cleanses, probably colon cleanses and some total body cleanses. I would recommend them highly. Go to Whole Foods, start with one, <laughs> work your way to the other, keep cleansing and drinking a lot of water until you can flush clean your system. So your system, I don't care <laughs> what amazing vegetables you're eating after you've had a clogging diet for many years, there is no way you're gonna lose the weight with a clogged colon, clogged intestines. You need to be able to absorb your nutrients. If you can imagine clogged pipes, it's worse than that. You have to absorb through the clogged pipes and that's how you get your nutrition. So we actually get our nutrients absorbed through the lining of the intestine. It's not clean, you're not getting nutrients, your body's technically starving to death. Not being able to get the nutrients, you gain a lot of weight because your body hangs on to literally all of that matter, all of that little fecal matter. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Trying to get the nutrients from that food. So you'll find that you are not going to the bathroom at least once a day. You should be going almost three times a day and that's a clean system. That's the system of a child. <laughs> It's called rapid metabolism and very clean system, very efficient. After a while, you can get your body used to having just raw food, um, fruits and vegetables, seeds and nuts, get your nutrition from there. We don't need as much protein as we think. It's a big myth, so this way that we stick with things that <laughs> we think we need to have. We actually don't need to have anything. We don't even need to have food. We're technically a spirit. This is a hologram that we support like a costume. It's completely supportable from our consciousness. Our perception allows all of the exterior to occur. That's the next technically speaking. So you can heal your own cavities, you can fix your own eyesight. There's not anything you can't fix because the whole thing is a hologram, the whole thing is an illusion. <laughs> when you really think about it that way from a spiritual being, there isn't anything you can't fix yourself. It's really not a fix, it's an adjustment from the inside. So going back, <laughs> adjusting your consciousness is really what having a good diet for your good beautiful figure. First you have to believe it's a beautiful figure. A lot of people have self-loathing. I have one student that she hates every part of her body. So I told her, could you bring in a picture of what you would like to look like and so you can focus on seeing that, focus your attention on that you are that already. If that's some kind of a goal that you want to change, or you could just fall in love with who you are, exactly as you are, and kiss your arm or something. <laughs> and decide it's good. It's good the way it is. Play within the realms of who you are. If you're tiny and petite, start to love it cute little thing. <laughs> if you're tall, mm, like a gazelle, love it. <laughs> Whatever your characteristics are, you're special and unique to you. And obviously you chose this avatar before coming. So you should treat it like a temple. It is, it's your vehicle. It's where your spirit resides in the 3D world. We are elevating, we're working our way to fourth and fifth dimensions, um, in which case I think we just get more and more beautiful. <laughs> more and more useful. I can see the sparkle and the love and the light 
shining through. I've always had this ability to see the light of someone's soul and their heart. So of course, yeah, parents would be scratching their head like, what? <laughs> what is this brand? <laughs> you know, and on the outside they had like crazy stuff, wild jewelry, crazy spiky hair, some wild bit. But it's the outside of her shell. I could always see the good heartedness of someone. Their inside is just so much more beautiful. <laughs> than our avatars. And our avatars get old and creaky and have our little quirks. But if you focus on that, you'll have more. I can remember grandparents and my grandparents' friends, they always said crazy things like, you know, like, oh, this hurts, or love a which means the old age. <laughs> so the more you're focused on something, anything, you're gonna bring it into fruition. Your perception actually creates, in quantum physics, we can see that we actually dictate the changes. We actually make things happen. I guess we never really looked at it that way before. So if you can make small changes, if you have a regular diet, you may want to just start to eliminate things that are not good for your soul. Eating the meat of another animal, they have a soul. You're, it's a cannibalism in some sorts. <laughs> it depends on how you see things, but it's living and breathing. Many times, all of them, no matter what they say and where it came from, they were suffering. If you're in a cage, mm, it's not a good life. <laughs> you're not free, you're not having the life you're meant to live. And in many ways, we're in cages. So you have to be careful of that too. Make sure you're not caged. Not that anyone's gonna eat you. <laughs> Going back to vegetables. <laughs> you wanna head for the darkest green leafy vegetables. You have a variety of colors. You wanna take your food and make sure that you're getting as many different colors in your diet. You're gonna make a salad. Try to aim to get all the colors of the rainbow in there. Little pomegranate seeds or cranberries. Make sure you're getting some reds, strawberries. Mm, my mouth is watering. Maybe some little baby mandarin oranges in there or slivers of carrots, kale. Make sure you're getting some olive oil daily. I know a lot of us that aren't eating any fats or any meats or anything like that at all, no butters. I do sometimes, instead of peanut butter, I aim for things like almond butter and sunflower seed butter. Yum. <laughs> Never eat GMOs. I've, I've eliminated all wheat, all dairy, all meats, pretty much down to just fruits, vegetables, nuts, and seeds. And supplements like vitamins, minerals. Make sure you're getting a nice alkaline portion to your diet, like starting a day with some lemon water, perhaps some honey if you choose. I'm a big fan of honey, cinnamon, turmeric, nutmeg, things like garlic. The fellow who lived over a hundred, all of these items are the things that he included in his diet daily. So if you want to live a long life and a healthy life, aim to follow the pattern of others who have lived a long and good life. And of course, being a good person. There's a mindset. I was thinking about this. You always get what you believe. So if you believe you deserve good health, you believe that you have good health, you believe that you're a good person, it's a funny thing. You actually bring about to you those good things. It's like a higher consciousness exists in your mind and if it weighs things out, if you believe that you aren't a good person, you deserve bad things, they actually come about <laughs> from your beliefs. I'm laughing because this is crazy. You're just a hologram. <laughs> And we can take things that seriously. So your perception, your belief, so strong. That placebo effect, that taking an empty pill and it actually curing something means that your mind is in total control. It's like an orgasm. <laughs> Speaking of which, <laughs> night night, pleasantries. <laughs>